Hey everybody. So in this drill here, we're gonna work on hip mobility on the frontal and transverse plane. Normally in our fundamentals videos, you'll see, them, see us doing them from the horse stance and both hips moving together. But now we're gonna be able to focus on just one hip specifically. The drill here and the importance of the drill is generating the movement. Right now, the range of motion and how much motion we're generating is not the point. We need to be able to connect the brain to those tissues and actually understand what the movement is that we're after. So here we have Neil in the couch stretch. So he has his foot up on an elevated platform. So we have decreased angle. The opposite of the angle is increased. He's going to push the sticks into the floor. They're 11 and one o'clock and they're gonna push the sticks into the floor about 40% tension. He's gonna equal that by pushing this back foot down into the platform at about 40% tension. He's gonna feel that activation all the way through the front of the hip. We want to make sure that the hip is in neutral position, not anteriorly tilted, pushing back. So now we have hip extension. Once he's locked down, he's then going to focus on bumping the hip from the frontal plane to the left and then to the right. And then as he moves back and forth, he's going to feel that go from the lateral line into the medial line and back out. So now we're getting a true engaged reading of what his frontal plane motion of this left hip is. And then when we switch sides, we'll see what the difference is and he'll feel what the difference is. So there's your frontal plane motion. Now we're going to do counterclockwise circles. So he's going to think about driving this hip in a counterclockwise position, hitting all points. So he wants to hit the three, the 12, the nine, the six, and the three. Remember, less is more. So once again, it's not about seeing how much range of motion you can get. It's first of all, connecting the brain to the tissues and the area and actually learning how to generate that movement and actually understanding what that circle is. So he's gonna go five or six reps counterclockwise and then reverse it and go five or six reps clockwise. And this is a great way to isolate one hip at a time on the frontal or sideways plane and then on that circular transverse plane. Give it a shot and see how it feels.